Revenge films. My name is Jonathan. I'm 26 years old and still single. Actually, I'm recently single. Until one year ago, I had a girlfriend that I was seriously dating. We were engaged, and just before our wedding, she disappeared. I met my ex-fiance, Helen, when I started working at my company. We were introduced through a mutual friend, and one year after we started dating, I proposed and we became engaged. I had no idea why she left me or what happened, nor was I ever able to find out the reason, and it took me a long time to get back on my feet after that. I thought that maybe she was caught up in some accident, and I was so worried that I even called her parents. But the only thing that they said to me was... I'm very sorry for troubling you, because our daughter is a spoiled brat. I tried to ask them multiple times that if there was anything that they knew, please just tell me the truth. But in the end, they didn't give me any information and continued to avoid my questions. After I continued to contact them to try to ask over and over again, I was at least able to find out that she wasn't in an accident, nor was she sick, but that Helen was healthy and very much still alive. And then, one year after all of that, I still had feelings for Helen, and I couldn't bring myself to begin a new relationship with another woman. I was feeling really down. But the people that cheered me up during that time were my best friends from high school. Even after we all graduated from college and became working adults, we all met up with each other from time to time to catch up. When they all found out about my heartbreak, in order to try to cheer me up, they arranged happy hour gatherings once a week, and it really saved me. Thanks to them, I was finally able to regain my energy and get back on my feet. That is, until one day, when I received a wedding invitation in the mail. The invitation was from a friend of mine from high school named Kevin. Currently, he was living out of state and working at a company down south. That week, the same group of friends were gathered for our weekly happy hour. And since we had all received the invitations, we decided to video call him so that we could congratulate him together. Kevin picked up, and when we told him how happy we were for him, he was thrilled. And then one of my friends asked him what kind of person he was going to marry and what she was like. And Kevin said that she was a shy and really cute woman. At that very moment, I was reminded of Helen and I felt a slight pain in my heart. And then Kevin continued to tell us that his bride-to-be was a shy person and not that good at meeting new people and that she was being difficult about even letting Kevin invite his friends from high school to the wedding. And for that reason, he said that he actually hadn't told his fiancée that we were going to be attending the wedding. But he assured us that before the day of the ceremony, he would make sure to talk to her about it. No matter how shy she might be, I thought it was strange that a woman would tell her fiancé not to invite his friends from high school to the wedding, and I thought that was quite bratty of her. But then, a couple of months later, it was the day of the wedding. Early in the morning, my friends and I got on the bullet train and headed down south. When we arrived at the wedding venue, there were a lot of people there, from family members to friends of the groom. However, I realized something strange, and that was that I didn't see a single person on the bride's side of the family, or any of her friends. But first things first, we decided that we should go and congratulate Kevin in person, and we were all really excited to see him for the first time in a while as well. 
And so we headed towards the groom's dressing room. When we knocked on the door, Kevin opened up with a big smile on his face. As soon as he saw us, he gave us all a big hug. We were all so happy to be reunited for the first time in years. And then he said that he could finally introduce us to his bride. And he turned towards the back of the dressing room and called out a certain name. Hey, Helen, my friends from high school are here. I want to introduce you to them. Come out here. When I heard the name Helen, a small part of me thought, what would the odds be? But I continued to tell myself that there would be no way that it would be my ex fiance Or so I thought. But when I looked up at the person who was walking towards us, it was in fact none other than my ex fiance Helen. I was so shocked that I thought I might faint, but my friends also recognized the situation and one of them came over to support me. Kevin saw me go pale and he had a confused look on his face as he was looking back and forth between Helen and myself and asking us, What's the matter? Do you know each other? But Helen looked away with an awkward look on her face, and without saying another word, she said she needed to continue preparing for the wedding and ran back to the back of the dressing room. I just wanted to get to the bottom of the truth, so I asked Kevin how the two of them met. He told me that they first met through a DM on social media from Helen to Kevin. Kevin said that he received a message from Helen out of the blue, and as they continued exchanging messages, they got to know each other better and eventually started dating. When he asked Helen why she suddenly sent him a DM, he said that she brushed it off, just saying that she happened to come across his account by coincidence. At that very moment, I remembered a certain thing. Shortly before Helen disappeared during our engagement, I had been browsing through my social media when Helen was sitting next to me and she suddenly said, I want to see what your friends look like, Jonathan. Can I look? When I handed her my phone, Helen was looking so closely at my social media down to every last corner that it was strange and that incident had stuck with me for some time. That was when I realized that there was no doubt that Helen must have found Kevin when looking at my social media. And that was why she reached out to him. But why on earth would she do something like that? If she was dissatisfied with something about me, she could have just spoken to me about it directly. And yet instead she left me and disappeared immediately before our wedding. I still couldn't wrap my head around it. After walking away from the dressing rooms, I thought I should go and wash my face and try to freshen up, and I headed towards the bathroom by myself. When I came out of the restroom, standing there was Helen. I was so shocked that I was at a loss for words, but then Helen said to me, I need to talk to you. And then she made me walk with her to the bottom of the staircase where nobody else was around. And then Helen said to me, Don't tell anybody that you and I were engaged. And she tried to keep me from talking. But I responded that I wanted her to at least tell me the reason why she disappeared before I make that promise. When Helen started to become angry with me, she seemed to lose her temper as she said, Isn't that obvious? That's because Kevin had way more money than you, Jonathan. I couldn't believe my ears. When she saw Kevin on my social media, she must have thought that he had a better life than me, a regular salary man, because Kevin was a freelance photographer. And then she DM'd Kevin, and without saying a word to me, she flew down south to go and be with him. 
But when her family found out about it, they were furious with her, and she said that she became estranged from her family, and that was why not one of her family or relatives were at the wedding today. Her reasoning was so unbelievably selfish that on one hand, I was beyond angry, but on the other hand, I was happy to finally know her true nature. I thought that Helen was a shy and sweet girl, but that wasn't the case, and all of the feelings that I had left towards her disappeared in an instant. When I found out that she only chose Kevin because she was after his money, I knew for certain that this marriage wasn't going to go well. When the wedding ceremony began, just as Helen had told me, I didn't tell anybody that I was her former fiancé, and I congratulated them without any look on my face. But then, in the middle of the wedding reception, Kevin announced that he had a surprise, which was to read Helen a letter that he wrote to her. When he got up on stage, Kevin began reading his feelings of gratitude towards Helen. And then, as he got towards the end of the letter, he then said, And now, we're going to get into the real point. And a cheeky smile came across his face. Everybody was wondering what he was going to say, but much to all of our surprise, Kevin said, Starting next month, I'm going to go on a trip all around the world. And he made this shocking declaration. However, the only person that was truly shocked was Helen. And all of the family and friends that were at the venue rolled their eyes. Kevin had always been a free spirit, and everybody knew that all of the money that he had earned being a freelance photographer he would spend down to the last penny on vacations overseas. That was a regular routine. But his family and friends knew that once Kevin set his mind to something, he wouldn't listen to what anybody else had to say. And so every single time that he would say he was going on another overseas trip, we wouldn't say anything and simply wish him all the best on his way. So I can only imagine that nobody would be able to stop Kevin this time either. When he finished reading his letter, Helen had gone completely pale, and we all heard her say, Are you kidding me? This must be a joke! And then she grabbed Kevin by the shoulders and was shaking him. What do you mean you're going on a trip around the world one month after we got married? That's ridiculous! What's going to happen to my living expenses? If I can't become a full-time housewife, I am not getting married. Helen was throwing a tantrum, and in response, Kevin simply said, Surely you can earn your own living expenses yourself, can't you? Helen was furious by this point and throwing a tantrum in front of everybody, but Kevin continued, if you want to become a full-time housewife, then you should have married an elite company employee, somebody more like Jonathan. When he said that, Helen's jaw dropped to the ground. Then she looked over at me and muttered, What do you mean, an elite company employee? What Helen didn't know was that after she disappeared, I was so devastated that I put my all into my work. And eventually, as a result, I was headhunted by a major company that everybody in this country knew about. The moment that Helen found out about that, she went quiet, and she turned to Kevin and said, Let's call off the wedding, and call off our marriage as well. Kevin seemed confused as to why this was happening all of a sudden, and even though he seemed flustered, he simply said, Do whatever you want! All of a sudden things had taken such a turn, and the entire wedding was called off, and my friends and I went back home at a loss for words. 
But then, once we got back home, one day, when I came home after work, standing outside of my apartment was Helen! I tried to ignore her and walk into the apartment when she grabbed me by the arm and said, Wait, Jonathan! And then, Helen said that she wanted to start over with me and put everything with Kevin in the past. But I immediately declined. But then Helen started begging me. It has to be you. You're the only one for me, Jonathan. Please, you have to marry me. She was starting to become so persistent that I shut her down immediately. I told her that I was going to collect a settlement fee from her for cheating on me with my friend during our engagement and for being the cause of our wedding being canceled. When I said that, Helen panicked and she tried to run away on the spot. But now that I knew that she was back in my hometown, I immediately hired a lawyer and I collected that settlement fee from her. After Helen had to pay that settlement fee, I never had to see her ever again, and she didn't try to come near me either. According to the rumors that I heard, Helen was officially disowned by her family, and these days she's working as an escort in a lounge while messing around with multiple men. As for Kevin, he did, in fact, go on his trip around the world, and he didn't come back for some time. After everything that happened, I opened up to him about my past with Helen. He then apologized to me that, even though he didn't know about it, he did something terrible to me. But thanks to that, there was no bad blood between Kevin and I, and I think he and I will still be able to continue being friends. I had my heart broken and failed at getting married once. But from now on, I hope to be able to find a woman who isn't so two-faced. And all I can do is vow that I'm never going to make the same mistake again. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.